Welcome, Snack Tackers! My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff products. It's, it's two today. This is going to be the hands-down weirdest video format of the Snack Attackers that we've ever had. And that includes some of the unedited and some of the beginning duo stuff. And that's because although these are two products and are similar in nature, they're kind of, although going to be reviewed in the same video, going to be reviewed at technically speaking different times. The two new products are the Smucker's Uncrustables Uncured Pepperoni Roll-Ups and the Un Smucker's Uncrustables Uncured Pepperoni Bites. That's right. The Uncured, or sorry, the Uncrustables Bites uh, which were released last year, have gotten a new upgrade in the uncured pepperoni flavor, which is uncured pepperoni, marinara sauce, and mozzarella cheese and bread. And the roll-ups have gotten an uncured pepperoni flavor, which is uncured pepperoni provolone and Neufchatel cheeses, which I've never heard of that one, with seasonings and flatbread. Now, why are these being reviewed together but separately? Well, because they're products that Smucker's already released with the new addition of pepperoni flavor, essentially. So these kind of deserve to be in the same video. However, these are heat and eat from Frozen, so microwave for 40 seconds, and then you get to eat it. And this is thaw to eat, thaw for two hours. I did not plan ahead. So, thawing on my counter for another two hours will be this, but already heated up is this. So I'm going to fully consume, review, and eat one, and then consume, review, and eat another. How very fascinating, right? I'm going to pause the recording, and then come back in two hours, and do another video, basically. So you get two for the price of one. Fun! The bites were purchased at a Target. Well, these were both purchased at Target. Poichist. These both were purchased at the Target. These were both purchased at Target. The bites were $6.49 and the roll-ups were $5.39, so the bites are more expensive. Now, this makes a lot more sense for an elementary school style treat or lunch, because you just put it in the, the lunch box in the morning, and at, by lunchtime it's, you know, thawed. This doesn't make as much sense if your school doesn't have a microwave, which ours did, but I don't think everyone's has a microwave. I don't know. But also, like, if you're just an adult, you know, you probably have access to a microwave. I know I did. So the Bites, um, they've got that wonderful, uh, sheen. And that sheen is not, like, a butter or anything nice. It's moisture, because these were frozen, and then not vented. So these were basically steamed, so the bread is nice and soggy, which is... Just the worst. I was gonna say my favorite, but then I realized that even if I said that sarcastically, I like so many unpopular ways to consume things that people would have probably just been like, yeah, it makes sense. Jason likes wet bread. So the uncured pepperoni bites, which I will remind you, are uncured pepperoni, marinara sauce, and mozzarella cheese and bread. Very basic, very simple. When we reviewed the taco and the other flavor, we found that the fillings were not Filling enough bread to filling ratio. You bit into here and it was just a cavern of air and no filling. Let's see if they fix that. Three, two, one, snack attack. Mmm, kind of. Also, flavor wise, much better. By using pepperoni as a base, and it appears to have kind of quite a lot of pepperoni as you can see, that's it's filled from top to bottom. Pepperoni is probably cheaper, um, because it just says uncured pepperoni, but pepperoni can be made from a base of, like, basically bologna. That's what Lunchables does. Uh, they just, like, spice up bologna. So it's probably cheaper, so it's easier to get filling, but it's also so intense in flavor that it's pretty good. I'm not really getting the marinara or mozzarella cheese, but that's not a burden to me. This tastes kind of like, um, like a cheap pizza pocket. It's definitely not bad, and it's way better than the other two offerings in flavor for the Uncrustables Bites. Uh, this is gonna be getting a snack tech, yes, yeah, so and out of ten. 
A 7 out of 10. But, uh, I guess I have to pause the video here and come back in two hours. I'll see you then. Two hours later. Okay, I'm back. Uh, maybe. Because I didn't wait a full two hours. I got impatient. I'm 20 minutes early. So. It's thawed. <laughs> maybe. Let's find out. Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Uh, this definitely has a weird sauce on it. You can see it, maybe. It's that orange thing. That's not the pepperoni. It smells ostensibly like pepperoni. I'm gonna get a middle bit, because that'll have... I'll have the perfect... cross-section of everything. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a try. Three. Two. One. Snack attack. <laughs> it tastes weird. The pre bag is like gummy. The sauce. What is this sauce? Neufchatel cheeses with seasoning. I don't like it much, but I, I don't hate it, you know. Let me let me just do a whole just a whole bite. No, I do hate it. I do hate it. It's weird. But it's hard to pinpoint how it's weird until I think about it like this. The sauce tastes like pepperoni. And that's kind of freaking me out, I guess. Because it's like there's pepperoni and then there's like liquid pepperoni. Which is weird. I don't like this and it's not better than some of the other roll-ups. Just the ham and cheese was just better than this. So, this is going to get a snack tag. Pass. Out of 10. 4 out of 10. And now we get to do in summation. I don't know if you can tell. This video was shot significantly later than this video. I'm kind of tired. I don't want to do this. I scheduled shooting for earlier in the night and then I didn't schedule right <laughs> because of the thawing. <gasps> I've left these out the whole time. Both things are keep frozen and both have now thawed. Food poisoning, here I come! In summation, snack tech yes, snack tech pass. I don't know what I gave uh, this one, and this one got a four. But the question we ask around here is not, will I get food poisoning from trying to consume these after I go put them in the freezer right now? No, it's not that. It's would you buy it again? This one, no. The bites, yes. But remember, check Instagram, TikTok, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.